What's up? It's B with The Unstoppable. I am utterly amazed at the amount of likes, views, and subscribes that I have gotten to my Fixident Victory video as well as my nightly and morning routine. So thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart for watching my video, subscribing, and liking. It means more than you know. But today I'm going to talk to you about dental mouth. There are a lot of things that come into play when cleaning your dentures. You, as you eat, if your dentures are loose or ill-fitting at all, you're going to get food particles inside your denture. Now I do know some people sleep in them they wear them 24 7 which is fine as long as you are cleaning them I personally do not sleep in my denture now I have once or twice but quickly regretted it the next day because you go all day with something over your natural gum and you're, you're chewing and you're talking and you're smiling. Your jaw gets tired. My, my bottom jaw even gets tired. So you, you need to take them out. Um, you have to make sure that you are cleaning your dentures properly. You can get pneumonia and you can get MRSA just from not cleaning your dentures the right way. You need to be scrubbing them with a soft bristle toothbrush and you can use regular toothpaste you don't have to have a dental toothpaste a denture toothpaste um, and also squirt some on the inside of the, of the the soft liner if you have one and use your finger to to clean the inside of your soft liner once your denture is permanent and it's completely all acrylic you can just use the soft bristle brush and the toothpaste or dental paste, denture paste, um, all you want to scrub it with. And when you put your denture in the container, if watch my other video if you don't know what I'm talking about for the morning and nightly routine, you'll see the container that I use. I call it a bath. You do not use hot water hot water helps the bacteria grow you don't want bacteria growing and as you saw in my other video I also put mouthwash in with my cold water to put my denture in the mouthwash is going to help kill off any other bacteria that you may have missed while brushing your denture um, if y'all have any questions um, about what to use, what not to use, how to do certain things, Co leave your comment below and I'll do a video on it next, you know. If y'all want to know, um, what you can eat and what you can't eat, comment below. I will do a video, whatever y'all need. I am, I am here for y'all. I'm not, I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing this for, for personal gratitude. This is to help other people. I watched a bunch of videos when I was waiting for my extraction date. And there was so many things that were missed. You know, nobody told me that in the first week of having my denture that um, chapstick would be my best friend. Your gums are so swollen, your mouth is stuck open. Constantly, that's what it was, open like this. You c I couldn't lick my lips, so my lips got so dry and so cracked. Chapstick was my best friend, you know? And it takes a lot to get used to your denture. 
it's there's some days where I'm like I hate these things I hate them with a passion I wish I would have never done it but in the end I'm so happy I did it and I'm not even at the complete end yet I still have I want to say three months left um, I do go back October 2nd for an appointment which I'm not sure exactly what that's for yet but they will do another impression of my gums and how my bite lines up this last time well the first time that they did it I uh the lady's like show me how you bite down so I bit down and she's like that's perfect she said I'm gonna stick these these little balls of stuff in your mouth and you're gonna bite down okay I don't know why but I pushed my bottom jaw out so if I push it out now they line up but if I just smile regularly and don't push it out you can see the gap that's awkward shot but I have a gap over here and I have an overbite which I had an overbite before so I'm not too worried about that but the back teeth over here on this side don't line up with my actual real back teeth back here it's like I need an extra tooth up here and I think that's all because I pushed my jaw out when um, they were trying to get the jaw alignment right. So that's my fault. And they can't go in right now and like create a whole new denture just because I pushed my jaw out. And the lady tried so hard to keep pushing it back in and it just, I wasn't having none of that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and let me talk about biting your tongue literally biting your tongue I don't know how many times I will be I will just, just be talking and my tongue somehow gets wedged and it's usually on this side it gets wedged over there and I bite the fire out of my tongue the only thing that you can do is slow down your tongue spills out across your teeth more than it has before. My denture, and I only have a top denture, is probably about, if you take the size of my bottom teeth over here, cut them in half, it's probably that much more wider on my top denture. Which is fine. I mean, it, it fits good. But I bite my tongue all the time. It's gonna happen. It's gonna hurt. Crap hurts so bad. If you are new to having dentures, whether they're top or bottom, it, it, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> if you're getting mouth sores, it's because your denture is too big. You get the sores because you're chewing and your denture is sliding or dropping and as you chew it pushes them back up and they fall down and push back up and fall down so it just creates that store right there if you're getting sores you need to tell your dentist or the one who did your dentures like my dentist is not the one that did my denture it was DDS so every time I got a sore, I would call them and no problem, they got me right in. Um, you have to make sure that you're also cleaning your mouth correctly. You should be brushing your gums and brushing the roof of your mouth. I know they make some top dentures that are just the horseshoe that don't have the roof palette, but uh, Either way, you need to make sure that you are brushing your gums, brushing your tongue, brushing the roof of your mouth. Okay guys, so remember to like, share, subscribe, 
follow me on Instagram at be unstoppable too. And if you have any video suggestions, anything you would like to see or for me to talk about or do some research on, just comment below. I will absolutely do that for you guys. So y'all have a blessed day. Love y'all.